Do you know, Max, the chances of finding a shiny Pokemon? No. One in 4,158. Ooh. That's the same as uh, Everton's chances of survival. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. You'd have some chance poking me in the ring. (laughs) (laughs) He'd be there a while. Uh, not if it's did me cocking you that way. <laughs> oh no, no. He said, "Oh, because he's a homophobe." No, he's, a, he's a homophobe. <laughs> Ooh. So, if anything, I'm uh, yeah. what gay? <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Stephen Trice podcast, series three, episode seven. Hey. Wow. wow. Um, today, I'm joined by C. Jimothy Jeeth. All right. <laughs> Mr. Misery got sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also joined by Max the Myth Smith. Hello there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the little fingers coming out the the place. Spider fingers, they call them. (laughs) Who's they, though? Sausage fingers, that's what they call me. And Tom Looney. Yep. Looney. Looney. You went to Sunderland. Yeah, man. How was that? It was all right. There's not a lot there. Oh, he's been on every episode this year. Yeah, this is what he's coming out with now. Fuck me, it's a city. It's time to retire, Grandad. We're at a 10 and crash down to a 1. There's not a lot to do. The venue was very nice. Went to a gig. You were yeah. really hyping it up before. That's beautiful. The gig was lovely. They're really good. Really nice acoustics in the place. Brand new. It's a nice evening. Brand new acoustics. Yeah, man. Um, wow. But Sunderland. <sighs> not for me. You're also going to MK Don soon. Yeah. Got my tickets today uh, on Saturday. Wow. Ah, uh, speaking to Ryan, he was invited. Would you I've invited you, you to this kind of thing before. I didn't think you'd want to go. Didn't get an invite. I only asked Ryan just because he's... Sure. You're not know, even messaged you me invited. for weeks. You love no, football. No, no, no. I just no. mentioned to him in, in passing. Like, I best get used to league cool. standard football. Isn't Max's it? football roundup is... Uh, yeah, man. Shots of pieces. I actually texted you the other week and you've not even replied to that. So. Did you? Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, didn't, wow. didn't realise. Yeah, you're having all these energy drinks and you're not putting it to you know, yes. texting, <laughs> which is which is what they're shown to do. You know, just he's having so many of them times like on a different level for Tom. <laughs> <And limitless. laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. The Wembley Dream died last night. <sighs> not the Papa John's trophy. Well, oh, you don't have many great memories shame. of Wembley. Good be nice sort of <laughs> the Papa John's trophy. <laughs> yeah, not winning the pizza cup this year. Max Academic. is going on holiday. Hey! He's off to Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Just a seven year holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't have to say where you're going. But, Sweet uh, Paris. Sweet Paris. Wow. Yeah, I've never been. Never been to France. You want to be careful for pickpockets. Yeah. Yeah, they should be worried of me. Yeah, <laughs> what he keeps in his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> my cheeky pockets. Uh, there, there's no end to the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the void. <laughs> <laughs> I learned the other day that um, pickpocket signs are a scam because when a tourist sees it, the instinct of the guy, oh shit, and like go oh, to really? check the guy in the pocket. So that shows the pickpockets Who has where stuff? your valuable shit is. Well, yeah. you learn so, something new every day. In your pocket. There you go. So the best yeah. thing to do is yeah. do the void technique, I reckon. Yeah. Just walk past Teach him a lesson. Put a bear trap in there. <laughs> That's a good idea. Just fill it fill it with, like, prank things. <laughs> Chinese yeah. finger traps and all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> <Sack of blood! laughs> it's, it's not going to be good when you have to pay for something, like a meal, and all you've got is a yeah. fucking mouse trap. Well, you forget about it and get yourself. <laughs> a little stringy worm pops out. <laughs> <laughs> Merci. There's some gunge for you. <laughs> gunge? <laughs> That's what I carry in my pockets. You never know when Dick and Dom are about. <laughs> full of gunge. <laughs> to be gusted. I've got all my Teen Choice Awards. All in one pocket. What did you win? Oh, I, I don't reckon I'll win out. Best greaser. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. Best best nips or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> they don't do that often <laughs> at the Teen Choice teen Awards. Choice Awards. <laughs> That's why Was I'm that black- after hours? <laughs> That's why I'm blacklisted, because I keep petitioning <laughs> every year. Just turn, Look turn at these! Gunge him! Gunge him! Can you? Gunge him. <laughs> Whenever anyone wins shit, I don't know. I respect what you want. <laughs> I respect your art. <laughs> you can't ignore these forever. <laughs> Two I Nickelodeon you. logos on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out the Teen Choice Awards, guys. <laughs> <laughs> on Nippolodeon. Nice. nice. That's okay. solid. There we go. That's, that's solid. all my material for the week, I'm off. Ryan doesn't uh, Ryan doesn't give you that, does he? No. He sort of looks around awkwardly. I could do that. No, no, no. Oh. Sort of Ryan's thing. Yeah, and no. I will I will <laughs> press a sort a certain sound effect. Um, we're not we're not putting that this week. What's what's Cameron been doing? <laughs> 
not sleeping. Oh, Ooh. he's coming for your title of wackiest. Wackiest week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wacky about it. Good luck. Wackiest yeah. week. Wackiest yes week. week. Wackiest week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's getting close so to the press, title. Press the effect, put me out of misery. No, no, I won't press the effect. No, uh, yeah, working, working lots. It was your, your sister's birthday. Yeah, bless her. Happy birthday to your sister. Thank bless you, Alara. Bless your sister. I, um, I had to miss her little birthday meal on Sunday. I needed to be in bed for seven o'clock. And... That's a thing. Is that in the morning? I don't miss that coronation yeah, yeah, to the bus. <laughs> yeah, watch how it work. I've got my stories on. <laughs> you can... World War Three is kicking off, but Deidre Barlow always, always has my heart and my full attention. <laughs> wackiest week, wackiest week. Damn it. Uh, it's, not, it's not the same without Norris, so I'm not forced. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. true. No, all right. Uh, anyway. So, you, Stephen? what have I been up to? Great question, Tom. Yeah, uh, I did an escape room. Well, uh, it was just me and Zoe. You're um, addicted to them, yeah. God, oh, fucking, I'm just injected in me now, please. <laughs> More ambiguous clues. It's based on a detective agency. Okay. And uh, and at one point, there was a five letter word that you had to uh, solve. Like Wordle. To, to, yeah, very true. To get an anag- <laughs> uh, to solve this anagram. And it was um, like F L E S and I. And I was like, it's flies, Zoe, flies, got it straight away. And she's like, no, that doesn't work. And then about five minutes later, they give us a clue. And it's like a, you know, it's a detective agency and you're surrounded by files. Oh, oh yeah, it's files, isn't it? And it's embarrassing, you could, fucking could be flies, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, time, time flies, flies in the escape room, I'll tell you that. Uh, but I kept looking at the clock and the time kept going going up. And I was like, oh, well, they're, uh, they're really feeling sorry for us. Worst part was, uh, they have a little microphone that's, in that's there. That's good detecting, though. Yeah, you know, thank that? you. <laughs> Give me money's worth. Um, <laughs> microphone in the room uh, so they can hear what we're saying. I was stood by the microphone at one point. Zoe turns to me and goes, have you farted? <laughs> the flies were real. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Had so, you farted? No, no. And then when I stood, I'd soiled myself. I stood where she did. It stank of farts. Uh, later on, I interrogated a certain suspect that was in the room with me, and she went, "I may have done." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you for that. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky shit. <laughs> Great date night. <laughs> but we did get out eventually. Oh, there was Morse code. That was it. Fucking oh, Morse, Morse code. code. And all you had to do was hear it, and uh, and then all they put it on the screen was- later. <laughs> <laughs> You stink! You stink! <laughs> Open the door! Now! <laughs> the flies! <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, even if you get the code, we can't let you out. <laughs> did um, you not solve it then? We did, uh, but we needed a lot of clue. It was just the, it was was definitely it, the hardest one. Was I've it done. better than the one we did? No. No? No, I can't beat Ryan Locke in there. Yeah. <laughs> Too I many cameras uh, and people that come and help him. <laughs> Just in general life for him. Smell it, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to love it, Ryan. <laughs> dish, dish. <laughs> uh, I watched the Batman. Uh, have you seen it yet? No, not yet. Oh, we can't give him spoil. Or you? Oh no, I, d- I desperately <laughs> see it. Three hours long. Does yeah, it yeah. feel three hours long? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's good. It's good. Nice. And uh, went really to well went to uh, Cine World in Didsbury. And my word, that's a nice cinema. Uh, you can lean back in your seat and you don't hit the other person. Oh, God, no, one, no one spoke during it either. It was filled. Different like class full. of people up in Didsbury, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me local. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, oh wow. That's where I used to go, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, did, I did see, you know, murmurings. Oh, I saw murmurings. Uh, <laughs> you know, old Tom Looney had traipsed yeah, those halls. Them, you would have seen them. <laughs> you know, tango ice. But they don't do tango ice plus in Cine World. They, they do Vimto. They're not. Oh. Manchester ice loves Vimto. I guess it's like uh, McDonald's with uh, Coke, isn't it? I assume they've got like some what do sort they of. Do? So McDonald's is the only fast food place to do Coca Cola. Is it? Everyone else does Pepsi. Didn't know that. Uh, Nobody yeah. ever noticed that. The more you know. Yeah. Well, I never. See, well, there's that's two the things pregnancy now. This. Uh, combine. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should combine. My mum did Coke when she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> I was born after a month. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cesarean just padded <laughs> like a magic trick. Yeah, right. <laughs> Landed straight into a happy meal. <laughs> the first brand deal was born. <laughs> In the news, there was a YouTube boxing event. Oh, heard, yeah, heard about yeah. this. It was 
Comedy Shorts Gamer versus Alex Wasabi. It was basically, uh, I don't know, yeah, put it down, but it was sort of like you've had the KSI Logan, mm. you know, these sort of events where there's a lot of people, big names and stuff. And this was sort of a, a watered down version of that. <laughs> I'll talk you through the boxing event, quick recap of what happened. There was a racist rap battle. <laughs> racist was, rap battle? Yeah, there's a guy, a guy who came out called Halal Ham and he, he brought out this, oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. guy who used to do rap battles and he just started doing a sort of like a roast of his opponent in the ring. After the first two lines, it was very clear it was racist. and Racist towards? The, the opponent. Who, who was? Uh, Asian. Asian, right, yeah. okay. And then the, the guy who was hosting the night came over and whispered to him, and I thought, okay, that stops. And he just lets him go again. <laughs> Keep going. It seems to be more racist. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. There was headbutts in two fights. One was a disqualification. It yeah. was just ridiculous. Only so one. one of those. First 30 seconds, he just goes, bang. <laughs> The other guy fall over dramatically after that, but yeah, he had just been head headbutt. Head so. No, no head guard either. Uh, and a fan ran into the ring uh, who looked a lot like me. So <laughs> thanks for that tagging me in it. And Anthony <laughs> Joshua was there. What are you doing? Why train? Pick, picking out his opponents, isn't he? <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Absolutely dusted them off. <laughs> oh, I knew I should have butted him. <laughs> <laughs> One sportsman we did see in their prime was Shane Warne. Yeah, well done, Shane. What a legend. Yeah. Uh, Cast away. The age of 52. Damn. <sighs> Fucking hell. You like cricket? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just go along with it for this bit. Yeah. No, I, I used to live... Not uh, a fan. I used to, I, I used to, <laughs> I used to live on, the, uh, on a cricket... Uh, just back onto a cricket pitch yeah so. well I used to kind of play all the time you ever used it? to back onto it <laughs> <laughs> he's talking again at number 10 <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm out alright <laughs> sticky wickets I used to pretend to be a wicket uh, unexpected though wasn't it apparently yeah. well, he, didn't well, well, he tweet like 12 hours earlier yeah. about someone else passing he's on a, he was on like an like extreme diet oh, yeah it might be a bit trite to um, assume it's that yeah, but his management team have said he did an insane fourteen day liquid only diet. Oh Jesus. And then this happened. But he, he was a notorious fun party guy. Plus, Went yeah. in his younger years yeah. and the candle that burns the brightest burns half as long, so they say. Yeah. It's yeah, probably more like yeah. that catching up with him, you'd think. But There's some of the stories sorry, coming out uh, after his tragic passing. Like, mm. what a guy. Him, his lover, and two prostitutes having an orgy that was so loud, it woke up all his neighbours. And they come round. It. Good riddance. Well, they involved. come round and we're like, oh no, you shame one, that's fine. And just let him get away with it. I wouldn't do that. Everybody loved him. <laughs> don't go cricket shit, mate. <laughs> wouldn't do it now. Nah. <laughs> Not for you. Unless Even if you don't like cricket, you love shame one. What nah. a guy. A little slut. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, Linda Barron. She also died from Come Outside. Yeah. Great show. And uh, open all hours. Yeah. yeah. I thought she was already dead, to be fair. <laughs> I can't lie. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering if she'll be retrospectively cancelled by environmentalists in a few years' time. No, no, no. And no, no, someone no. looks up yeah. just how much pollution that, that little that plane, plane was. That plane ran on happiness <laughs> and adventures. And fossil uh, fuels. <laughs> I'm sure if uh, she the was shagging the dog loudly, you'd like it, wouldn't you? What? Oh, yeah. Go it's on, Linda. Thing. Go yeah, on, Linda. Yeah, get it. Right oh, come on. I ain't the new McGrath. Mister, mister. Is that the wrong spelling of come? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, come. no. Come outside. Oh. It's coming everywhere. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. For listeners at home, yeah. Yeah. you've got it already. Uh, Dizzy Rascal <laughs> was found guilty of assaulting his ex fiance. More than a rascal. I think at that point you change your name. <laughs> Someone's going to be fucking dizzy. <laughs> dizzy nuisance. He came out of court and threw a photographer's camera across the street. Uh, yeah, it doesn't help. Doesn't, doesn't help. It. You're not going to get a retrial about being, you know, assaulting someone when you assault a photographer. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds after you come outside, <laughs> not Linda Barron's sort of thing. But yeah, he says something to the photographer, smacks out his hand, lobs it across the street and walks off. So he's probably going back to court. Do you think? Jesus. Yeah, for that. Yeah. I want to see the picture just before he smashes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be fun. It's probably used as evidence now. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. My detective agency. Mm. What a case. Do, uh, do you not think you're a bit entitled if someone shoves a camera in your face to kind of just, you know, uh, within reason? Yeah. I, he's, he's so grumpy he's just been found guilty. I know, but... 
still it's a bit, <coughs> a bit aggressive isn't it oh yeah exactly <laughs> 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 to be fair if it was your detective agency on the case I think you'd get away with it no no <laughs> no cold, no cold, no. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> on loads of cameras I don't know <laughs> something smells and I don't think it's this case <laughs> I didn't shit my <laughs> Uh, it's now time for something that certainly doesn't reek of shits. It's Max's Football Roundup. Hey. The only Max's Football Roundup. We're nearing the end of the season. Can I get the three teams that are going to be relegated this year? Everton! Wow! Probably. No wow. offence, but... It's not even know. controversial, Probably, yeah, no, yeah, probably. Yeah. Wow. Never, First time they've been relegated from the Premier League, if it happens. Really? Yeah. First Ever? First time they've been relegated since 1955, I think. What's happened? Ooh, it's your roundup, mate. Yeah, very true. Yeah. No, 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 it's not the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit early on the trigger there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Man United. Okay. <laughs> West Ham. Wow. Yeah. Wow. There we have it. It's three teams. Thank you. Huge. Fucking hell. Fucking Norwich. Wow. Look out for Norwich. Wow. Top four. Put your seatbelt on for this segment. <laughs> Did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Kanye West kidnaps and decapitates Pete Davidson in a disturbing music video for Easy. Spoke with the Z, not on us. I mean, Aston's not very cool, is it? You know. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? I was hoping that was going to be like a direct quote. Like, the, D- the Dalai Lama said that. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> You're trying to guess who said something? No. Like the great segment, oh, yeah. wow. who said that? <laughs> We're on a roll here. Jeez. Let's have it. Yo, 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 they want to know. Quote from... I am appalled at the recent war and will perform no more shows for Russian billionaires. Rita Ora. Ooh. Mika. Duncan from Blue. <laughs> oh, God, shit. I'm well, thinking Russian it's Duncan from Blue. Again, then. I think it's Duncan uh, Duncan. It is Sting from the police. Aye, aye, aye. So nice of you to, you know, give up, you know, performing for the oligarchs, mate. Oh, oh boy. Gutted. Yeah. I don't think they'd be into Sting. They were great sting in the police. Yeah. Stick them on often. My favourite sting yeah. of the police was when they caught Rolf Harris. Yeah. <laughs> and the oligarchs were just sat there. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if there are any Russian oligarchs who are watching this, um, I'm not saying you're a paedophile, but uh, but if you are, stop it. Yeah? No. I've, I've had an hour and ten minutes worth of detective agency. <laughs> I'll hunt you down, probably. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> sorry, for watching, though. shouldn't, you know. If you want us to perform for you, we will. You probably have a lot of TVs and laptops in your house. Yeah. Just put them all on this, please. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, guys. We usually do your laugh, you lose. However, we've been waiting for Ryan to do it mm. because he's uh, oh. it's his go. Mm. However. Oh, no. Always up for the content is I. I have... <laughs> I have prepared a you laugh, you lose for you guys. A little oh, bonus okay. one. A little okay. bonus one. Okay. Um, Anything on the line here? Yeah, you will have to. Uh, you will have to do a you laugh, you lose in the future. Oh, oh god. This is three pictures. Okay. Each one funnier than the last. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> are you ready for the first one? We are. Let's do it. Here we go. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Third and final. Oh no. Third and final one. <laughs> well done, guys. Oh my god. It was the Ugg boots. <laughs> Did you put them on? Yeah. For fuck's sake. Hell. Well, cheers for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys, for surviving. You'll have your lose. I'm terrified. And thank you very much, Max, for uh, for taking that last picture. <laughs> <laughs> the things I had to search to get those images. My yeah. God. Man sat down with erection. <laughs> James Ormrod, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy weekend. Man sat down. It's to be fair. I'm working. <laughs> I guess lap dances, you know. 
It would have been it. Yeah. yeah. They're set down with erections. Yeah, see that. <laughs> That's all brush. Stephen Hawking. Mm. So you got to do without uh, where are we? Very sexual. Yeah. Yeah, 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 apparently. So you, uh, a lot of orgies. Yeah. yeah. Stephen Hawking? Yeah, yeah, he had a lot yeah. of affairs and stuff yeah, yeah. mistresses. He had an affair with his nurse, didn't he? He called him Stephen Polkin for a while. Yeah. I Steve. think you're having me on. He was a top shagger. Yeah. yeah. And a bottom one. Mm. Me. So his yeah. 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 He loved it. He said, there's a black hole. <laughs> this week's talking points. I uh, I saw this on on TikTok, guys. So I uh, love TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah, they love you. Oh yeah. So uh, this question for you guys is: What is your dream smoke circle for people? Uh, are you just going to blaze a blunt with? <sighs> Ooh, don't like it. Do you want me to go yeah. first? Don't yeah. do drugs. Yeah. Not cool. Thanks for but watching. For all you guys that do, joined by we'll uh, play along. Do you know what, uh, Max? You are now the you're having the wackiest week because of these two squares. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, look squares. at me. Yeah, yeah Get fucking out. squares. At least I'm a bit less circular than when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you mine then. Go I'm going to go for uh, Alison Hammond. Yeah, yeah. From, oh, uh, that sounds like a nightmare. Why? Sorry? She's she's very... She's, she's an opera, isn't she? She's full of energy, full of beans, full of vigour, and you want to chill? Yeah. She's going to be like wanna, screaming be down your ear and she stuff. She won't. I'll Sweet. let you finish first. Alison, maybe sorry. Maybe Alison is a fantastic people person. She got along with Ryan Gosling like nobody's business. Yeah. And here she is with the fattest doob you ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> fattest noob. Not me? No. No. Oh. Plus, with weed, you don't get... It's not an upper, is it? You're not going to be screaming. Wouldn't, no. Don't know, mate. You tell me. Yeah. 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 Jürgen Klopp, apparently he uh, smokes the kush. Really? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fair. Good apparently. for him. Probably need a comedian in there. Do you know what Steve Coogan? I better, I better be dead cool. Oh, just, uh, yeah. Just sat back, blazing with me and Alison Hammond and Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> and one more. Uh, who else? Who else? Um, <laughs> need one more really cool person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take Ryan with you. No, yeah, 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 you can roll him for yes. us. Yeah, there we nice. Go. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want Ryan there. Yeah. No, I do. I'll do. love Ryan. Yeah. Uh, you guys. Do you want Duncan from Blue? Yeah, I'll take Duncan from Blue. Uh, do you want Lee from Blue? I'll uh, we'll take uh, <laughs> do you want Simon from Blue. H from Steps. Uh, nice. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't know, Gary Lineker. There we go. Wait, Gary you, Lineker. Have you got Gary Lineker? Just, yeah, just opened Twitter before and he was on there. Uh, so you got. Gary Lineker, Duncan from Blue, yeah. H from Steps. It's very else? white, it's a very white male <laughs> group. Who else? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, four. Yes, four yeah. Uh, oh, Maybe Cal Vorderman, so you can count. Diversify yeah. it a bit. <laughs> Do they have to be alive? Diane Abbott. Oh. There we go. Don't just say I need to diversify and pick someone that you like. Know, Diane Abbott. Well, well she's uh, she's a, a lady of colour, so there you go. <sighs> yes, but I'm saying pick someone on the basis that you like them. Yeah. Not to not to make up the numbers. How would they feel? Yeah. No oh, one's you know going to do an here. audit of this. You're time. here, so we don't get, you know, weird Cancels. looks. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Okay. I'll take Simon Webb. There we go. So you got Duncan, Simon Webb, yeah, can, Wayne Lineker, not Wayne like Lineker. Sorry, Gary Lineker. Yeah. And uh, yeah. this is good. Eight so from good. steps. Yeah. What's your What's your choice for eight from steps? Why him? Seems like a cool guy. What uh, about? I him? guess. He's been in the music industry, so you know, I think there's a lot of weirdos in the music industry. Yeah, yeah man. Jedward. Jedward. Rolf Harris. True. Jedward yeah. not making Absolutely. it. Gary yeah. Glitter. Yeah. R. Kelly. Was Rolf Harris in the oh, music yeah. industry? Yeah. Two Little Boys. I know, yeah, but. <laughs> I know, he was in Two Little Boys. <laughs> yeah, I think Warney would be a good laugh. But Rocking he's dead, out. you know, any so. Nice one. I think it was Linda Barron as well. God. That would be good. Because she could tell us all the stories about being in a plane, and I bet she's really supportive. Of yeah. what? Like, if you started to get a bit shot through and you're like, oh, she'd be sound, she'd help you out. No, but but we don't know it. weirdos the problem. on BBC at the time. Yeah, we don't yeah. Know yeah. These a lot, lot of nonsense in the industry. Well, we should, we should only make bad assumptions of them, like Alison Hammond. Mm. Yeah. I'm, ju I'm just thinking. Pour that, mate. Joe, you know I'm going to have Ryan Gosling instead this. of Ryan. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Good is, trade. It's like the Simon Webb to her. What if everyone thinks they're giving it to him and they're giving it to you and he doesn't get it? I've already got Alison Hammond, mate, and she was my first choice. And I've got a German. Nice. Yeah. German's good. You've got H, he's a he's a, a gay man. A gay man, yeah. Gay is man. he? And Duncan for Blue. Is like, he actually? Didn't realise. I mean, fair, but you Good. Know, this is like that guy. Um, who gets we just want to point out, Tom didn't change, he didn't swap Duncan out then. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I 
I think he already knew. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Is he what? What? I didn't know that. No way. What? I didn't know that. No. What? Well, the ladies liked him back Did in the day. Did we make you horny? What? What? <laughs> what are we passing around here? <laughs> God, I love just putting things in my lips and sucking you. Mmm. Can you blow smoke rings? By the way, my name's Smoke Rings. <laughs> Uh, that's nice uh, all rise <laughs> direction so th- does it have to be people who are currently with us yeah mate right okay mm, don't really like any of them that go on Max you must he be just ready ruled out 7 billion people can't remember yeah. that's right <laughs> do, you want us to, do you want us to pick three of them for you and you pick the other one yeah well I suppose that okay. might be fun go we'll on pick someone for Cameron Trevor McDonald oh I'd love that oh go. I love Straight Trevor McDonald yeah yeah, yeah. journalism Trevorism. hero oh. we're a guy Michael Keane no, no, um, sorry. Who are you picking? Now? I'll give you Paul O'Grady. Yeah. Oh wow, that would be fun. Oh, Paul Trevor O'Grady McDonald. and Trevor McDonald. Yeah, yeah. I've got half the ITV presenting uh, team from back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Lineker. Right, so he's he didn't no, make see, he's, he didn't he's, make he's played he's, for Everton. He's in yours you got rid of now. Gary. No, no, no. Then I get rid of Gary. I'm no, sure he's played for Everton. Who do I get rid of? Him. Don't want any Everton players. Fuck him off. Don't okay, Wayne, Lin- Wayne Lineker. There we go. No, it's you. Wayne Lineker. There you go. <laughs> no. You're welcome. Oh, no. Now you, I can't you invite any ladies because they'll be unsafe. Oh, you can. Oh. I'm pretty sure Trevor and Paul wouldn't let Wayne go anywhere near them. I don't know. I think I think Paul. Paul. Paul's a Paul's a character. I'd have uh, Buster if Paul's coming. He's dead. Is Buster well, dead? Buster, Buster idea. Uh No, Buster, Paul O'Grady's dog. All right, oh, I was, oh, right. I was thinking of uh, the circuit comic Buster. <laughs> no. <laughs> Buster can't die. Can't <laughs> what? He's alive in here, man. Um, you know, the guy that used to do Jungle Run? Oh, oh Michael something. No, in Michael fact, I'd like Michael Neil Phelps. Buchanan. I want Neil Buchanan to come. He'd yeah. be fun. Because he might bring some arts and crafts stuff as well, give us yeah. something to do. Oh, Wayne you were love toddler. That. You were fucking toddler. <laughs> yeah, I'm not being funny, Art Attack was summit back in the day. Oh, and that talking head from Wigan that was also on Art Attack. You can't have the fifth. You can't have the... Unless no. you're swapping him out for someone. Oh, so it's only... It's, it's, it's me and three or me and no, four? No, four. Okay, well, Wayne and Gary can get... No, 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 no Gary's no, not no. there. Wayne's got there. Wayne. Oh, You've got no. Trevor. Why do you want to spoil me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I want Trevor... <laughs> I want Trevor. I want to swap out Wayne or Gary for the talking head from Wigan. You've got Wayne. Yeah. You've got Wayne. So you've got that talking head. Neil Buchanan. All right, all right. Well, Wayne can come. You can only swap as... Wayne out for a baby. That's it. I want Paul O'Grady. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, Paul O'Grady. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can have that. Yeah. yeah. It's never going to happen. Is it? I don't think I'm so excited. That'd yeah. be fun, though. That'd be good, that. <laughs> you got one more? Well, I want the talking head from okay. Wigan. Okay, there you go. Good for Good for laugh. Max. Danny DeVito. Yes. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, Elon Musk. Yeah. I think I'd hate he that. Famously. Yeah. I'd hate that, but I'd probably ask for money. <laughs> so, Sounds that, like that might the shittiest help. thing. Yeah. Get him to sign a contract. I, I got the high. weed. You owe me for 5,000 pounds. Yeah, that'd get, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good idea. Some other people. Maybe Tom. Don't want to go. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> You no. getting a bit fed up and not getting invited to stuff. My, yeah, that's fine. My friend Stephen, yeah. he's, he's allowed to come as well. My he's friends. allowed to come. Yeah, if he wants. He's not, not invited, but he's allowed to come. What's the weirdest phase you've gone through? <coughs> Do I just start you off? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I watched High School Musical and I uh, wanted to be a basketballer. <laughs> 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 I was in a year eight or year nine, way too old for it. <laughs> I was at my back garden with a basketball that was deflated. <laughs> it was against the wall. <laughs> oh, oh. Fucking loser. Did you, uh, you know, uh, use the musical element as well? Or was no, it just the basketball? Mainly just the basketball. Right, yeah, fair. Um, yeah, I was, uh, for that half an hour in the garden, I was fucking on it. <laughs> <laughs> but then no, his dad forced time. him to become a singer and be in the, be in the school musical. <laughs> it all went wrong. And dad here we are. There. Today, my dad wasn't there. I was at my mum's house. The divorce, nice one, Cameron. Yeah. Nice Sorry, all for perfect terms like you, mate. <laughs> perfect terms. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Somewhere there's Mom a compliment in, the in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, perfect terms. Huh? Yeah. Mum and dad sat at home shaking hands. There we go. <laughs> More than shaking hands. Oh, yeah. Bashing yeah. glands. Bashing glands. Clams. It was all but dead. It was all but dead. No, with Dr. Tom around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went through my twister phase during lockdown where I kept eating twisters. The ice on these. Well, you said playing twister. Yeah. No, 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 no. I've played twister with you before. I think. Oh. <laughs> it was good warm up for basketball. Okay, that's all I did it for. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Left hand blue, other hand green. <laughs> 
Nice. Are the rest of the band turning up at some point? Ah, oh, mate, his surname's Green, guys, no yeah. one left. I get that. Nice. But uh, do we have, we're already on about Blue, the band. Yeah. No, it was not yeah. about Blue. Oh, hey, come on. It's not right, making it it, it. We're trying to have fun here. That's what I was trying to do. Go on, like sorry, joke about wanking you off. <sighs> it was a joke, was it? And for what? <laughs> <laughs> when I was giggling doing it, what did you think was happening? Guilty semi. That's what it was like. Um... And I also, I went through a phase of picking raisins out of food. I love doing that. I'd buy tea cakes and just pick the raisins up. Really? I need therapy. <laughs> so is it just your own? Or did you walk around the, the dinner hall? No, no, no. I went, I'd go to Asda. <laughs> and around 7pm for the discount out. raisin loaves. <laughs> I'd walk home. Did you eat the raisins after or was it just... Big yeah, 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 big yeah. time. Nice. <laughs> nice. Not very healthy. It was the chase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing them around. <laughs> I was despised. I was raising hell. Nice. Nice. Got it back. Got it back. Uh, quite a current joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, Grapes. Phase you've been through? Oh, so many. Name some. <laughs> There was once a time when I wanted to learn how to do the skateboard. <laughs> do the skateboard. <laughs> you do the skateboard. Yeah, man. How old, how old were you? About 14. Nice. A lot of my friends did it. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I'll give this a try. And it didn't go well. Did, were you one of those who jumped on and went straight off? <laughs> yeah, but off yeah, I stood on it, wobbled a bit, and then, yeah, fell over. Slides of skateboards yeah. with holes in Real Max's neck of the woods. Why, why would they have holes in? Why would they Doing have holes? the skateboards. Do this game. Oh no, that's Ooh, coarse. Sex, oh. Literally, it's coarse. The uh, yeah, the no sandpaper. You'd be ruining oh. your dick there, mate. Yeah. Start off with one of those foam things that you get yeah. in a swimming pool. Yeah, what, a, noodle. a, a noodle. noodle. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. you want to go for. Then work up to a skateboard. You'd be like a little soft like that. Surfboard, maybe. Otherwise, you're going to sand yeah. off that false good night. There's no tomorrow. Yeah. Think on before you make a joke. Well, we've not started doing my phases yet. There might be a... <laughs> <laughs> that ship might have sailed, baby. <laughs> Uh, Cameron phases you've been through. There were a lot of fashion phases. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. that time I uh, decided to be a mod and I'd wear Ben Sherman shirts up to the collar, gave myself neck burns. <laughs> <laughs> My had, one that fits Cameron. <laughs> always had a great big neck. <laughs> a great big girthy neck. Yeah. So to, I'd have to either get one that was like too short on the collar and then it'd be, and then it'd fit the rest of me. Or get one that was like too big, or the right size on the collar, and then it'd like hang off like a dressing gown. So um, it wasn't for me. Mm. There was a time when I was fussy with food and I didn't like steak. I had a different boy back then. <laughs> <laughs> my mum used to get me uh, chips from the chippy and uh, chicken selects from McDonald's. Wow. Yeah. On, a, on a Wednesday. That, that was, was my treat. the neck issue there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might just have uh, <laughs> <laughs> another case solved in my agency. <laughs> You're welcome, Great Britain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tom, what phases have you been through? Oh, I did have a bit of a gym phase. Uh, Still do, and, don't you? Yeah, I'll go to the gym now, but oh, I had a proper too, Max, bulking phase cheap. where I was like drinking these big masculine shakes. Oh, and... like your sulking phase. Ooh, can't, can't, it's too gloopy. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. It was around the time I went uh, became quite violently lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just yeah. remember having some big mask. It was punching full cans of, of milk. Um, yeah. And I, and I put milk, I did put whole milk in it, you know, for the calories. Yeah. And I got the. Just picturing you two not allowed insane freeze. You turn up and you're sweating raisins and he's chucking milk around. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see what's going on in the toys aisle? <laughs> <laughs> this lad's calling himself Tony Pork. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great phase. I'm man. the one it's fucking great. a skateboard while these two are just playing with food. Great. Yeah, it's so me, guys. <laughs> so I couldn't fit my neck through the door, don't worry about it. <laughs> Are you buying kids' shirts, Cameron? <laughs> it's a cape. <laughs> I've got a strangling fetish. When I started working in a bar, went through a bit of a phase of just having like a nice little bar at home and being a oh, yeah. pretentious your whiskey phase whiskey. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah well I had you know. I, I was collecting whiskey I, I like to collect things I always get I go from one thing to another all the yeah. time just whatever I'm doing at that time I just do it I'm all in yeah sounds uh, like a lot of phases yeah I mean have you yeah, witnessed your bike me? repairing phase have you <laughs> <laughs> you're repairing bikes in the hallway <laughs> 
well, I had <laughs> it, it, it was one bike that has bested me to this day. All my other bikes have been nicked now, but now I've got this one. I had this no um, monster. <laughs> <that's why. laughs> well, I, it was a project for lockdown, which yeah. just really kind of got the better of me. I bit off more than I could chew. I was trying to sand this bike, and I ended up sanding it too much, so I've ruined it all. Oh. But if you go further, I can. Anyway, it's, it's, it's probably not going to make the edit, but. It, you must have seen me have some other phases. I've, I'm, a, I'm quite a phase person. What else have you done? It's your big breakfast phase. Uh, you make a big bowl of breakfast. And yeah. Sort of last year. I'm on two thirds that. of a day. Yeah. I'd really struggle with it. Be grazing. Yeah. yeah. You dyed your hair. Yes, I had a hair dyeing phase. Um, I went blonde for about uh, did you three hours. <laughs> uh, well, I was at the time. I wasn't really. I wasn't working at the time. Um, so <laughs> I dyed my hair blonde about. 11 at night Prepping <laughs> <Weapon act, no. laughs> so out Took one picture Sent it to me mate Looked like a shit M&M <laughs> <laughs> So I ran to, I ran to the 24 hour Tesco And got red hair done. Oh yeah <laughs> Dyed my hair red Wow well, Yeah From oh, it, was, it was purple You look like a shit Sharon Osborne yeah. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> I had too much time on my hands You know I was a bit depressed At the time <laughs> <laughs> so I was working I, I, I dropped out of college because I didn't really like it um, mm. I thought I don't know what I wanted to do was I was dropping out of college phase yeah dropping out of college yeah, phase man. and I was questioning the future and what I wanted to do Been questioning the future a lot phase. Of <laughs> weird careers that I considered and uh, yeah I worked about 12 hours a week the rest of the time I was just dying my <laughs> I went through a wanna be on coach trip phase. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Wow. No, you yeah. didn't know me then. He knew really. I was in year ten. Oh, fair enough. Well, I remember you talking about coach trip a lot. <laughs> You've oh, always God. had that vibe. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Used to reference coach trip all the time. Oh, <laughs> you had a phase of throwing a fruit knife at the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. What's a fruit yeah. knife? Just a small, you know, the one that you'd peel an, ap an apple with. Quite sharp, though. throw it at the door. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, one time Ryan walked in. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> no, he didn't. No. Nah. It's uh, we, 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 you to knock. Ryan comes in with his new thesis and it lands in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have, like, an indie music phase where I'd, go, I'd, only, I'd only be happy going to, like, indie music clubs yeah. on a night out. But then, <laughs> indie music sort of died a died a death. Like the when it was the time when it was really popular and all the best bands were going, mm. sort of fell off. And then I went to like a baseline music phase, turning up to, you know, dirty clubs doing dirty stuff. Uh, uh, yucky, dirty on the yucky, floor. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just that kind. I'd love to just go around there afterwards with some polish and wipe that place clean. <laughs> <laughs> Not in, the, not in a weird sense that you're getting at. You know, I'm in my cleaning phase. It's good. Um, yeah, it's good. But we're going to think of loads of these. I went through a drinking yeah. phase. Uh, after I went to Cavos, I just started drinking a lot more. Uh, God, it really took hold of me. Are you over it now? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was home by 11 last night. Oh, it was uh, Dave's birthday yesterday. Sorry, I forgot to say. Sorry, Mr. Dave. Happy birthday. Yeah, sorry I couldn't be there on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Yeah, doing a pub crumb. Okay. I was there, Dave. Nine o'clock start the next day. Start, uh, yeah, same. Yeah. 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 Me on my pedestal. <laughs> I was up there. It was good, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice. As soon as the pedestal phase ends. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, uh, I don't think that's ever ended. <laughs> the the yeah. old high horse phase. <laughs> Max is in his passive aggressive comment phase. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I love it, man. Never leaving that, baby. Good. <laughs> It's time for Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Little Lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. This week's message is, sorry for weighing on your floor. Right. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Whose floor you been piddling on, boy? This is actually sent to me. Sent to you? Yes. Mm. Climbing down already, I don't know about this. Underneath the picture of my girlfriend's dog who came round to my uh, flat and weed on my floor. Oh, right. What kind of dog? I don't actually know. It's like one of the ones that look like a, an old English gentleman. Old He's, English gentleman. You see, gentleman. listeners, when I asked him, what kind of dog is it? He instantly looked up and to the left, which tells me... I mean, she has a dog. It was a lot. Wow. wow. As, as quick as that. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have a, let's have a little thinky poo. Okay. Not a breed of dog. <laughs> hey! I enjoyed that. Thank you. I didn't. 
Hmm, <laughs> that's good. Room piddling on your floor, right? Eh? Yeah. What room did it pee in? In the bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, and I don't who, know if you've ever been to who mine. Clean, who yeah. cleaned it up? Me. It would have to be me. But if it was a message that was sent to you, that would mean that her dog needed to have peed on the floor and then she'd have had to look at it until you get back and decided that the best course No, I was in the house. To, right. The what, dog was in the bathroom. Why didn't you just shout a, then, like... What, shout out after it's weed? Yeah, it's got, oh, it's piss on the floor. Because no. I'm a fucking... I'm nearly 30. I'm going to clean wee up. Whoa. Right, can you run me through this story one more time before we leave her? Uh, so the, the dog was in the bathroom. Yeah. Dog weed. Yeah. So I cleaned it up. But right. then uh, my girlfriend was like, ah, oh, you know, that's sad. Dog weed is what me and Alison haven't smoked. <laughs> it's, it's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then. Joe McGrath sent me this text. He never did he? Yeah, he did. He didn't when? look up and left. When? When? Where? Literally. Why? A, how? A couple of days ago. A couple of days ago. Look left then. So he sent you a message wow. saying what? Look down. What was the message? <laughs> I'm sorry for pissing on your floor. Sorry for pissing on your floor. I thought yeah, it was sorry for the wee. Yeah, I don't think it says that. I'm sorry for weeing on your floor. Yeah. What mm, was the message? Yeah, find it now. Sorry for weeing on your floor. Sorry for weeing. It's the same thing, isn't mm. it? Is Yours it? is a little more coarse. Yeah. Is it? Technicality. So, Joe, why is he pissed on your floor? <laughs> so Joe uh, pissed on Stephen's floor recently. Did he? So I was on Facetime to Joe the other day, and uh, he was furious. And I said, well, you pissed on my floor when you came round to pick up your bag after that party a while back. And Where'd uh, he piss on the floor? He's just got a dribbly penis, I think. Um, what, was he trying to have a wee He was hung the over and, and then pissed all over my bathroom floor the next right. morning after a party when we'd already cleaned up. Oh, sweet Jesus and, uh, of Nazareth. It was just quite a lot, so Devon um, had to clean it up. Oh, goodness gracious. And so he apologised after, because uh, I said, well, you did it to me as well. Did it smell? Did think the wee all, smell? Think of all the chicken eats. You ever had chicken selects from Mackey's? And you have a wee after. It smells like cornflakes. I don't eat chicken. Well, then surely you'd be more attuned to the smell of smelly pee pee. Would, would, it might not have smelled. Didn't even smell it, did you? I mean, I didn't clean the wheel. I think, I think this detective has a little bit of a kink here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Who sent you the text, boy? Jim McGraw. For piddling on your floor? Huh? Absolutely. Right, okay, so why do you piddle on your floor? Um, <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know why he did it. He's a fucking idiot. But um, it was, it was, it was the few hours before the Prescott pub crawl. Oh. And unfortunately, Tom was running late, which meant Joe had to come upstairs. Oh. Uh, up he came. He came and he peed. Yeah. He's leaving himself oh, all over we'll the shop that this up. month. <laughs> Did you sniff it? <laughs> <laughs> it's in one of yours, is it, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> he came. He came to uh, to have a few drinks, and yeah. then uh, he went. We were about to leave. He went, oh, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Well, it does sound like that. That's yeah, convincing. He, he went, and uh, he's got previous because we played poker once, and um, mm. he definitely he either didn't flush. Or he, <laughs> made, flush. he made a mess. Yeah. Yeah. And it was the time he pissed on my floor. A day later, I was in the bath, and I turned to the left, and, and so he's like, "Oh, Joe's, Joe pissed on the floor, by the way." I'm like what? And she pointed at it, and it was uh, yeah, underneath the toilet. Still, he still either, either sat down, down later. He's he's sat down and pissed through the gap between the seat and the toilet. <laughs> uh, Great. Or he just yeah, yeah. dribbled on the How'd floor. How'd you do that? Joe McGraw, mate. Surely he'd have had to like. Get Joe McGraw and his weird shaped penis. Yeah. Jesus. What's your shit like an elephant's <laughs> drop? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard hell. it's little. Oh, God. Yeah, small wheels. Small, small wheels. <laughs> small little baby wheels. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Ooh. <laughs> Why didn't Zoe clean up the, the pee? Because it was my friend. Essentially, think of it as this way uh, Joe is my dog that's pissed on the floor. My responsibility. <sighs> Right, okay. Steve, you're telling the truth, and these two are telling fibby wibbies. Correct. Yay! Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you solve a crime. Yeah, man. Ten minutes or less. If you listened to the podcast, you would have known that was me straight off. <laughs> that's the real crime. This was a test. No, don't let someone have on it. A lot of other people do, though. <laughs> no, no, it's Dave when they don't listen. Um, <laughs> it's now time for Hi, Max. So I've said it like a climax. Oh, well. Of, so I've heard. It's that time. Fucking hell, I hate this segment. 
What up, guys? It's me again, uh, classic movie reviewer. I wish it's me again because we know you've been here. Me, little old me, uh, ready to impart some wisdom uh, of the movie related stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> this week, <laughs> I've uh, I've actually corner. got a great, <laughs> great little tale to tell. Uh, when I was given the role of uh, Robin in the new Batman movie, wow, yeah. Crazy that, isn't it? What a life I live. Yeah. If you've watched it, Robin's not in it. Yeah, yeah. in the sequel maybe or something. I don't know. And Stephen was talking about it before and you said... Oh, yeah, I've not seen I'm, it. I'm I'm not, not, uh, but you had nothing to offer. You don't like I mean, to watch yourself, do you? If you were in yeah. it, you would have surely had some. to Why would I say that? No, I was saving that conversation. Because right. then I'd have nothing to speak about now, would I? Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Well, well, we were. I'm like Boris Johnson, but instead of... All right. Sasha Baron Cohen's fuming, mate. Let's get that out of the way now. Well. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Well, well, we were. Yep. I had that before. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that every time you play it? That's, that's, that's not fair. <laughs> Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Well, well, we were. I'm like Boris Johnson, but instead of robbing the nation's youth of their future, I'm Robin in the new Batman movie. <laughs> wow, the lights, the cameras, the live studio audience. It feels good to be back making movies in Tinseltown. Oh hey, it's Robert Patterson. Didn't you used to be the world's sexiest male? I still am. Ha, wait till I compete. I've never lost anything. Uh, yeah? Yeah? Name anything, and I'll tell you if I've lost it. 60 pounds. Re fuck off, I'm big boned. Ugh. Anyway, what am I wearing for Robin? Wearing the little shorts with the little pad in. Oh god, they're tiny. <laughs> Jesus, am I in a pair of kids' pants? What do you think? Quite spacey. No, they're not. Oh, right, you mean him. Anyway, what's next? <laughs> Don't know. Why not? I mean, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. Enjoying my humiliation, are you? I like my own personal brand of heroin. Seems you're more of a crack addict with this wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> oh God, what are the live audience doing here? What the hell? You've just been pranked by the prank patrol. Yep. Oh my god, never. That's insane. It's Barney. Did you set this up, Robert? That was really fun. <laughs> Who is it? Hello, my name's Ryan Locke. Ah, you're a bit late, mate. Who are you meant to play? Well, I'm just a fiddler. Ooh, the fiddler. I think you're in the wrong film, mate. Quite spacey. Lol. <laughs> I, think I, uh, I think I told you about the fiddler the other day. Strike two. Um, actually, you get out, please. Y yeah. Sorry about that. Two. Two joke thefts. That's bad. Basically, two minutes. Yeah, That's one a minute. Does it? What's coming to it? Bit of a letdown, really, compared to last week. I actually enjoyed last week's. But you know, that's the thing. Uh, he goes from a high to a low. That's IMAX yeah. for you. Well, Hello? The highs are uh, <laughs> Hello. Hello there. <laughs> so you got a frog in your throat. <laughs> no, it's not a frog. Oh. Is that about to change? <laughs> no, this is it for the whole time. Oh. No, sorry, who are you? <laughs> it's me, Jacob Cracker, famous detective. You're a detective? <laughs> yes, and I'm on the case. What uh, case? It's a master criminal about on East Street. Oh. <laughs> Get in. Yes, and he's done some dirty deeds. Oh, baby. <laughs> What would you mean? What sort of dirty deeds? Oh, he's a litter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's he, what's he littering? Litters everywhere. He litters in the parks and he litters in the bus lane. Oh. Oh. That's not good for the buses. <laughs> not for the or buses. Or the environment. Or oh. the, the people in the park. It's unsustainable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Uh, Jacob, you seem really upset about what's happened here. I'm fuming. My father died because of litter. How so? <laughs> a litter of kittens or something? Uh, in a way, in a way. Somebody uh, <laughs> somebody threw a big uh, box that was uh, clearly made for white goods, like a fridge or a tumble dryer. <laughs> Off a bridge, it landed on his head. Well, where was he? Where was he? <laughs> Under a bridge. <laughs> what's that Did, your mother? Did he live there or was he on the river? <laughs> He lived there. He was of the homeless variety. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, him and your mother didn't get along? No, they got along like a house on fire, which was why he was homeless. Yeah, oh. but, but you and your mother weren't. No, I hated my mother. Right. Mm. Is that why they got along? Yes, they both had a hatred for me. They set me up in orphanage, if you can believe it or not. I can, uh. I can, I can, I can, I can guess a reason why they get rid of you. <laughs> I grew up in an orphanage, and uh, yes, from you know, after my father died, I, I had a burning hatred for litterers. Burning. Uh, <laughs> how's your health? Burning like the house fire that ruined your family. <laughs> Fuck you, you nubbit! Uh, not very nice. So, what detective are you? Yeah. Bad one, it seems. <laughs> what are you doing here, Jacob Cracker? Well, you know, have you ever heard uh, of uh, story? Could crack a case, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe have a you heard case. of story, Ansel and Gretel? <clears throat> yeah, I'm aware of it, yeah. Well, like Hansel and Gretel, this litter book has, has left a trail of litter throughout the streets, which I've been following, mm. and it's led to this very door. How do you know it's the... <clears throat> The yeah, same. I, how, could be other people how, because he drops the same thing as litter every time. What is uh, it? The wrappers of a mint imperial. Uh, uh. They, they individual come. mint imperial. <laughs> individual mint imperials, which are out of the wrapper. Do you, do you mean the, the sugar mint. coating? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the the outer layer of a mint imperial is a hard coating. You seem to know a lot about mint imperials. It seems. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> if, you, if you're going off this, then this is a desperate case, sir. <laughs> it's very desperate, and I've been paying a lot of money. So, who's, who's Hired you, uh, Andy Burnham, Mayor of Manchester. Oh, oh. Did you ever meet him with him prior to this? No, I've never seen him, and I've never seen uh, or heard from him. Uh, but I, so I've got a letter from right. him. Oh. Was it definitely from Andy Burnham? They said A B at the bottom of the page. I have to assume it's him. Uh, Might not be Andy Burnham. Could be. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, have you invoiced for this yet? No, no, no. But I Angela charged Bacon. lots of money. <laughs> so Jacob. How Hello? much do you charge uh, for a case like this? Three hundred pounds a month. How long rappers. have you been on this case? <laughs> Fifteen years. And Is you were contacted by Mayor of Manchester, Andy <laughs> Burnham. <laughs> well, I, what I, was I, he doing 15 years ago? I don't fucking know. Probably writing me letters asking about all these minted imperial rappers on the streets of Manchester. <laughs> have you ever upset Andy Burnham? Do you know what? There was a boy at school that I used to pick on. His name was Andy. You uh, picked on him. Yeah. I picked on him, yeah. I used to sh shove him in locker. And I said, oh, little Burnham. Uh. Wow, Burnham, which is funny because your house burnt down. Is that what you No, you don't think it's one and the same. You, is that why you picked on him? Because it reminded you of your broken home? Yeah, probably, yeah. I was a very sad child. More than broken, burnt home. Yeah, ash. <laughs> was he in your school as well? <laughs> Yes, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange laugh you got. <laughs> what's, the really case, enjoyed that uh, one. what's the biggest case you've ever cracked? Uh, oh, you know what? There was uh, <laughs> no, there was, there, was a, there was a there was a, a murder, a murder must <laughs> foul, and I solved the case. More chickens. <laughs> what? Yes, chicken foul. You're very funny. <laughs> I love you, laugh. Thank you. What happened? <laughs> Well, it turns out the chickens were killed by the farmer and he said it was his living, but I said, no, you're naughty boy, and I pushed him off a cliff. It uh. sounds like you are, in fact, the person who's causing problems here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just making a living, just making a living. But that's what the mm. farmer was doing that you killed. <laughs> you committed two murders. No, no, I don't kill anyone, not unless it's for justice. I only kill for justice. Mm. What about the justice of your, your house being burnt down? Well, I, as I say, I pushed Andy Burnham into a lock and I punched him in the ribs. And he hired you to solve the Mint Imperial case? Well, I don't know if it's the same Andy Burnham. He could be. They've got the same name and they've got the same face and they've got the same address. You've never seen him, though. <laughs> you've invested 15 years into this. 15 and long, you've not established years, lonely years. <laughs> whether the person that's hired you is good for it. How lonely have these years been? So lonely. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't solve this in, say, the next month, do you reckon you'll ever give up? No, I've got another 
15 years invested into this case, but I'm hoping this what? room will give me a clue. Aside mm. from time, what have you invested into it? Money. Mm. How much? 15 quid. Mm. It's not much, is it? It's not <laughs> so a lot. That's what I make, money. that's what I make. You said you make 300 pounds. Well, he's not paid me yet. Right, for 15 years worth. 15 years, yeah. I've had to get a second job just to, you know, finance this one. What'd you do? Oh. <laughs> the bus driver. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't think they're going to pay it, mate. Yeah. Andy Burnham's good for it. I know he is. He's mayor of Manchester. He's I, got a gold necklace. That's a still <laughs> Minty Piero rapper's figure. Thinking of a different mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Andy Burnham. Where'd you live? Don't want to live in bus. Back of bus, <laughs> there's a little there. mattress in bus. Mm. Did you put it there? Yeah. No. Right. I woke up one morning, it was there, and I went, oh, thanks for gift, I'll take it. And you thank it? To God, I guess, or You're any other religious man. man. Yeah. Or woman. Mm, sexist pig. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you an openly sexist... <laughs> openly sexist. Detective. Detective. Sexist detective agency, that's what I've got. It's niche. Mm. Mm. It is niche, yeah. And i got one customer. Where do you wash? I was just thinking. You don't know what that means. Like, clean yourself. <laughs> anyway, uh, any other questions for me? Well, no, you sort of came in here as part of your case. Oh, surely, yeah. surely you'd have the questions. Oh, yeah. Anyone uh, like Mint Imperials, maybe? I'd have a lifetime supply of them that you can drop on the floor willy nilly. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good for the environment. Yeah. No, I, li- I don't mean. mind Mint Imperials. Oh, I would not I wouldn't. I mean, wrapped individually seems ridiculous. I feel like you need to be more subtle as a detective. You yeah. know, if you're onto something, don't say, ooh, hello, because he's just going to close up now. <laughs> 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 anyway, I've, can I go? <laughs> Was there oh, more I'm questions? I'm leave you with a gift. Oh, thank you. Is it this magnifying glass? Oh, you are a detective. Yeah. <laughs> so put me house you. down. <laughs> <laughs> this did. This um, very one. I'll tell you that. No. It, <laughs> Where the fuck were you? Twenty-five years ago. <laughs> I was one years old. Fucking one years old. That's old enough to hold magnifying glass, I believe. No, <laughs> not, not very, very smart. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> this, you're desperate to solve a case here. I am. I need the money. Yeah. I'm not going to pay you. No, no one is. You can't pay me, no man. No going to pay you for finding it burnt down your house. You said it was your parents for getting mm. on so well. <laughs> of the mutual hatred of you. <laughs> Why are you trying to blame a one-year-old? You are pathetic. Little baby room You've lost life. your gift now. You've lost your gift. <laughs> I want my gift back, please. No baby ruined your life, you sound like your parents. <laughs> <laughs> that I last wasn't crush. even a baby at the time. I was about 52. Wow. 52. <laughs> it was their retirement home. Were you just like yeah. uh, a baby? <laughs> How old are you now, Jacob Cracker? Uh, oh, my God. 52 <laughs> times 20. I'd be about 72 years of age. <laughs> times 20. <laughs> 52 Plus times 20. 20. No, I'm not, I'm not a, that old. Mm. You're going to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Jacob, uh, best of luck with your <laughs> last few years on this Jacob. planet. <laughs> I'm off to solve a case. Yeah, mm. you mentioned the Check case. the papers, check the papers. One day my face will be on there with a big jacket. Mm. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> yeah, check, check your streets for this man. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jacob. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he wasn't well. <laughs> It's a shame. He's a character. <laughs> it just shows, uh, you know. Hey guys. You have to look after yourself. <laughs> oh, you alright, Max? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Do you like mint imperials, Max? Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you like yeah. littering? Yeah, you know, partial to it. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's now time for a 30 minute theme tune. Oh, it can only yes. be the Green Party. <laughs> Cammy Whammy G tells you how it's gonna be. the truth well i didn't vote for you <laughs> rule one everyone should have a theme tune no no yes god no is yours a theme tune or a jingle yeah i don't know i, I think if everyone had one though it would make me feel less guilty about how simply long it is max has one yeah Tom, yeah it does Tom has a shouting loony that's sort of his theme yeah. tune and it's better to have that live i guess yeah but say you're walking down the road you're on a bad day really bad day you get on a bus Bus smells a bit odd. And you think. Mattress at the back. (laughs) Yeah, the mattress at the back. You think, how could this day get any worse? And then suddenly, you know, your bus theme tune comes on. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, here he is. But if if it's a bus of like, let's say there's 10 people on there, it's like 10 different theme tunes. It's all distorted. You can't really make anything out. Yeah. It's awful. So is that a chewy you've got there? Yeah. 
bit of a minty treat, don't you think? Mm. Ooh. I don't know, I'm saying ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean to you? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> My God. <laughs> a very close friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> next time I'm walking on a dark road near... <laughs> the next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be strange, <laughs> <laughs> on one of my many dark road walks <laughs> dad's theme tune <laughs> now, <laughs> now I think about this say if you were trying to like avoid someone yeah. it's like yeah. a dark night you're trying to escape <laughs> there he somebody... is he's over there <laughs> behind the bush <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe this is a flawed idea <laughs> oh god imagine if there was like something bad gonna happen as well and then you were like forewarned of it but there was like nothing you can do oh, like, yeah. Yeah, like, one day you're on a plane it's like this is a bad idea <laughs> something's gonna go wrong <laughs> let me off <laughs> I can't hear you everyone's theme tune's going yeah no alright so no theme tunes <laughs> no theme it's a great idea though yeah, yeah. do you know what? it's one of those it's nice to think about but in practice it would be yeah. in practice it would be horrific and renders, terrifying yeah. yeah also if you're deaf then uh, you know you miss out you miss yeah. out yeah FOMO you've, you've just used your uh, privilege there to ignore what the actually I think you'll find that deaf people can enjoy music through vibrations mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. It's in your mum's bedroom then. <laughs> Water! Water! <laughs> right. We should erect a statue of Auntie Mabel for services to aviation and children's entertainment. Don't care where it is, don't care how much it costs. Don't care where it is. You North Korea. Where it is. Mm, Middle yeah. of the sea. Why yeah. put it in the sky? <laughs> Underwater. That would be perfect. On the moon. Well, how's it staying? Russian there? gulag. Yep. I don't know. Taxpayers paying for it, they found a way. Yeah. Russian poo slag. Yeah. Russian what? Russian poo slag. I suggested poo slag. Poo yeah. slag. <laughs> Russian poo has a lot of poo. Yeah. A poo in, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a bit of a poo slag, isn't he? Flopping. Yeah. In his <laughs> basement. More than five. More than five so, poo slag. Uh, we've done some real detecting today. Yeah. How's that been missed for so long? <laughs> How's no one cutting down to that one yet? <laughs> Gee whiz. Heard it here first, guys. Yeah, friends in the media. <laughs> yeah, Keeping out of the news. There you go. Oh, well. Barney from right. Frank. So, yeah. yeah. Where are we sticking the anti Mabel statue? We might as well decide. Up your ass, up your ass. I do it. I do it. Uh, Come inside, I'd, baby. I'd, I'd put it instead of a Dixie Dean statue at Goodison Park. Oh, well, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Would. <laughs> I did say I don't care where it is. Yeah. There so. you go, then. Mm, no. You've well, got to care where it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't get it. Oh, it's in the democracy. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd put it in front of the Everton goal, <laughs> because they have probably stopped more goals going in than the regular one. They've got a few <laughs> statues playing anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give it in shit, but yeah. bitch and shit. <laughs> shit plays. Oh, that's funny, that. It brings me on to the, uh, the last rule. Just uh, ban football. Ban yeah. It. Cancel right. it. But what, what are you going to do on a Monday night when you take on tough, 10 men? Tough tits. <laughs> tough tits. I'll take on 10 men on a Monday still. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother me. Too fucking late. So, We're on your bang, team, Cam. Bye, 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 gavel, will you? Cancelled, yeah? Can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, where's Dixie Dean's statue going? <laughs> not ass, mate. Yeah. Cancelled. It's off. You say you're not Turn asked, but off. you seem really... You seem angry. You seem yeah. really asked. I'm not, though. I'm not. I'm What's wrong? I don't care. I'm I feel like if there was a photographer right now, you'd throw the camera. <laughs> <laughs> not ass, mate. Fine. Turn nope. that off. Come on. Football's oh, cancelled. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah? Yeah, come on, not even Monday. I'm this making like 11 tonight. I've not slept for years, yeah. you know. Have you noticed that Evian backwards is naive? No. Well, if that's not a point to end this segment on, don't know. Oh, that's my point. <laughs> Make your own points. I've been uh, some great points being made. In this Everybody segment. recognizes that I just made this. Uh, don't claim this, my aqua this trivia. Brilliant, <laughs> this brilliant aqua trivia. <laughs> it's not time for some loony. Yeah. Loony, loony. Yeah, come on, bit more, loony. bit more. Loony, loony. You've not been loony this week, so. Loony. Loony. Uh, I'm gonna get a bit dour. Yeah. Uh, Got some uh, revisiting uh, some oh. some some <laughs> oh, yes. crazy coincidences. You know, we, we had that uh, yeah, twice that, back yeah. in the day, and they were always good. Back always in the good. day, you mean the other week? No, not the other week. I've not done this for ages. Oh, what was the other week then? Oh, that was bad things you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is some um, coincidences. Uh, what have we got? Love what coincidences. Got? World War One began yeah. famously <clears throat> after Archduke Franz Ferdinand was shot in Sarajevo. The band yeah. and who was playing that night? Yeah. Oh. The uh, the registration on the car that day. I have heard this. Yeah, was 
A one 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 eight. Sounds like the first ever registration. But it's cool. And that A A1. is when the war ended. Ah, uh, it's one 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 one. A one is a is a road, Armistice. and that was a car. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, mad! That is mind blowing. Yeah, not but, bullets. Just yeah. like explosions. Like, you know that we've had the ones about Ken. I've done the one with Kennedy and Lincoln. A one was a band as well. And Franz Ferdinand. A one was a band. Yes. Yeah. Mad coincidence. Yeah. Oh. And that leads on to this one with uh, the about. Don't take my with Lincoln. Uh, <laughs> it's not where the. Uh, this is not the only coincidence that's attributed to him. And uh, his brother, Robert Todd Lincoln. Sorry. <laughs> Little Todd. No, 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 brother. Son, 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 son. Uh, uh. He fell off a train platform and was nice. rescued. Why are you laughing? By a man. Because uh, he felt it's like kind of slapstick, isn't it? He felt. He was fine, so it's all right. Um, <laughs> Somebody gets pushed in front of the train. Yeah. And he was rescued by a man <laughs> named Edwin paramedic. Booth. <laughs> Mere months later. You're crazy that, yeah. John Wilkes Booth shoots the president. His brother. What? Yeah, what? small town. Yeah, yeah real small, yeah. Small town. Oh, so his brother saved him, and then the other, and then brother, the other brother kills his dad. So two brothers are so different. Yeah. I'm like Barry and Paul Chuckle, who are so similar. <laughs> but they did try to kill the president. <laughs> they, did, they did. It was a really bad episode. <laughs> <laughs> Great cameo from Obama. They're watching, they're watching JFK go away. <laughs> He's coming to me. He's coming to me. No, come on, no slacking. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Uh, this one's really, really good. Really, oh, you're gonna, oh, I'm you're excited. Gonna, you're going to love this. This is mad. So, uh, a bloke working for the AA engineer. <laughs> oh, oh, stop right there. For the mate. car, A1. So, yeah, here we go. All the A's. Uh, there's a theme. There's a theme. It's not coincidences. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's out in. I think. I think it's in Shropshire. He's in a. He's in a rem, remote kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. in the countryside in Shropshire. Uh, I, I think he's been on a call or something. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's, it's a regular working day for him. Yeah, it's a regular He'll be on an A road. Day. I yeah. bet you. <laughs> so <laughs> so he's, he's walking in this remote little village, walking, and he walks driving. past a phone box. Nice. Phone starts ringing. <gasps> No, Edmonds. <laughs> well, this this is seriously going to blow your mind. This Chris is seriously Aaron. going to blow your mind. Picks up the phone. Woman starts talking to him. She knows it's him. She starts talking to him uh, about an appointment he's got the next day. He's obviously baffled. It's, it's his secretary. She's gone to call his mobile number and accidentally oh, shit. dialed his payroll number. And it was the number for the telephone box they just happened to be walking past. That is pretty, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, fair. Whoa. All right. That's mad. Yeah. Maybe maybe she was a lizard. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Makes more suspicious. Or a wizard. It's time for <laughs> put it to the max. Oh. Put it to the max. To the max. Put it to the max. Hey. Everybody on the STP, put your mother loving hands up and please help me. My fellow classmate, let's call him John Robert. Parsons. JP. Has, JP has JRP. been openly calling my mother a hag in class. And far, far be it for me to snitch on a fellow classmate, but I'm reaching the end of my tether. Part of me demands some form of restitution, but is there a more sensible way to solve this before I'm forced to wreck a fool in the playground? Thank you for your help. Unless you don't read this, then God have mercy on your poor chump soul. Chump. Chumps. Don't help him for that. Yeah. You know, he, he's acting out because he's. Because his mum's a hag. Yeah, man. She could like, be. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have raised him to call John Robert people jumps. Powell? JP. JP. Jimmy P. Jimmy Is P. it Powell? Or Parsons? Parsons. 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 Your mum's a hag. Your dad's a slag. Born and bred. You'll never shag. There we go. Hey. We'll be in there. Put on your pipe. <laughs> yeah. Just don't smoke it, though, because you're yeah. in school. He wasn't saying that to us. He was saying... No, really? Oh, oh, wow. You were no, trying to stir no. the pot there, Tom. What's he said to us? So he, he basically said, if you don't help me... Yeah. I'm gonna do something to this kid. Yeah, no, that's what I that's how I read no, it. No, you said you said like, you, said, you, you, call us, you call us chumps. chumps. The end, the end bit is aimed at us. It says no, um, unless you on don't. this on this poor chump, not on on you. You need a detective to solve this. Okay. <laughs> well done, Tom. Got yourself a punishment there. What, why? What happened? Just one strike. Uh, you you called us chumps. Yeah, and clearly it wasn't aimed at us. No. And we've just insulted a kid. Yeah, man. You know. Sorry. Poor John mate. Parsons is in tears Sorry. now. God, am I, sa- am I safe? No. Am I safe? <laughs> Damn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> neck and neck, baby. Yeah, baby. Anyway, are we helping this kid or what? Or are we just... Nah, nah fucking, Sorry, fuck him. Yeah. Hate him. Oh, oh, don't say that. Fuck him. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> what? <laughs>
Shut up and sit down. We have a child fucker. <laughs> uh, it's a disgrace. Uh, punch the kid. If he says your mum. No, about. don't punch the kid. Fucking beat him up. Hag's not that bad. Yeah, Hag's. It's still horrible though, isn't it? It's your mum. She's dear old mum. If you're going to let him say hag, then what yeah, else could he do? Them. And he's doing it in class. In he's doing it in class in front of everyone. He's doing it being like class clown. Yeah, 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 is there anything worse you can say than hag? Yeah, of course there is. I'll say that then. Nah, don't use words. Use fists. And no. Words. Embarrassing right. story. I completely hey. forgot to do it. Hey. <laughs> this kid's still waiting. Oh, oh fuck, fuck off, John. It's Max who wrote it anyway. <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> Don't write any of these. We have another update from Finn, Finn Racine. Uh, he says, love you, boys. The Molly and me quit from Max was terrific. There you go. You two oh, right. Oh, oh, thank you. I thought I, I thought that was quite nasty of me. What was it? It's well, funny, though, you know. That's the thing yeah. about Finn. He'll take, it, he'll take a jab and he'll laugh. Cheers, Finn. I am sorry about what happened. But, uh, yeah, um, have a good one, Finn. Yeah, well played, Finn. Yeah, good luck. Any ever had any dead dead pets? Yeah, plenty. Great. <laughs> I haven't because they usually get taken off me. <laughs> <laughs> Guinea pigs. Yeah. Go to a better home. I don't hurt them. Just uh, don't get on with them. No. They want to be looked after. <laughs> Needy. Yeah, man. I killed my goldfish actually. On, on purpose. purpose. No. Just a terrible accident with the sink. Trying to take goldfish on holiday. No. To the sink. Oh, change the oh, scenery. Yeah. 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 Oh, don't they just chuck them in the bath? Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I did put them in the bath. Um, there you go. But it, did uh, live I in put, a bowl. Uh, yeah, I yeah. put them in the sink first because I was cleaning the tank and then I I didn't put the plug in and it, it was oh. a suction action oh, that took its eye out. Oh God! Well, where so, go? I, I, some of my uh, fish were getting fin rot. Um, Ick, and my know. eyes were, fists were falling off. Oh. So I had to like do the kind thing and, yeah, and tissue. Yeah, you don't have to do that. It was because they were dying slowly. Like it was God. awful. Like oh, I'm not remember. sure you have to smash them down. They'll just die now. Well, no, I, I mean I was gonna. I didn't. I don't know. I so you got a kick out of this. I didn't want. <laughs> I, I swear he's got fin rot. I didn't want the fish to be in pain. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want it. Want it to, supposed I didn't to buy these first before you did. I didn't want it to suffer, and it looked like it was suffering. I pay good money for this aquarium loyalty card. I'll go where I like. <laughs> You're banned from the blue planet, sir. <laughs> just in the ocean, just punching the sea. <laughs> oh, Come okay. on, Shamu, where have you gone? <laughs> <laughs> so beat up a whale. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a dream, eh? Yeah, I am. Someone's dream. Yeah. Weird dream. You'd probably wake up swearing if you did that. <laughs> this one is from Cody Thomas. Hey, guys. In my last years of my GCSEs, I went into school with a really dodgy stomach. Oh, Just barely God. making it to the toilet each time. But I wasn't so lucky in my last lesson of the day when my teacher would let me leave. Eventually she did. And as I ran down the hall to the toilets and got there, can I just say, not a single full stop or comma so far. I like it, it's well, good. There's a stream of words. <laughs> Didn't ask, yeah. Adds to like the panicked feel of yeah. running to the toilet. In the no story. time for punctuation. Yeah. And as I ran out. down the hall to the toilets and got there, I then slid on the toilet floor, twisting my ankle and proceeding to shit myself <laughs> in the middle of the toilet floor. I was then found by my by one of my good mates who decided to laugh and not help me. Well, that is a good mate. Yeah, probably good mate. Good friend. Yeah. I don't believe you, Cody, I'll be honest. I hate to be cynical, but uh, I smell bullshit. <laughs> you, ha- you know, you have to be cynical. Yeah, in this day and age. People will. We need proof yeah. is what we need. Yeah. yeah, take a video. Just just set up a camera in the toilets <laughs> in your yeah. school and see what you get. Send it in to us, please. Uh, not so loony kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can be a recording, can be a live stream. <laughs> yeah. Live stream would be ideal. Stream. Yeah, because then I can kind of, you know. You check in. Yeah. yeah. Scroll through. And I can know that it's not been edited. Yeah. So I can yeah. look in and just watch Ooh. for a bit. I'm worried we may get called sexist. Put one in both toilets, please. Yep. Staff be toilets. A- yep, staff, because don't be yeah. ageist. Absolutely. Yeah. We just want to cover all bases. Schools. Any supermarkets? Yeah. Did I say last week about the toilets in the uh, canteen? Where I change, where Devon plays football. I need a wee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just open in the canteen. Like they, they've they've taken the doors off. I think I said yeah. the other day to, to yeah. But uh, everyone at the canteen, they sort of point at the toilet and say, "I'll have what she's having." Hey. And then they weirdly slop it on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Waste not, want not. 
How much would just be paid to eat uh, human feces? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, there is a price, sadly to say. There is a price. That's, there's loads of prices. Don't be sad. Harvey. There's a price Can't and it gets paid. That's a happy yeah, moment. Surely. That's a happy moment, yeah. I've been yeah. grinning. Don't grin like that, mate. You can see it in your teeth. Whoa. Eat with my mouth open. Why are you doing it like that? Yeah. <laughs> Punish us. Oh, nothing's oh, been, nothing's been done to you it. You get a lovely grim, crusty roll. Nothing's been done to make oh, it a soup. It's fucking grim, in it? Oh. Just a lovely crusty roll that's warm. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got a crusty one on the side. 200,000. <laughs> in, in the soup. 200,000. But you wouldn't. It's life changing money. You never have to work again. You fuck it. Your life's done. You're sorted. You're, you have a good time. Did you travel the world, mate. For that? I, like See, I don't think I canceled. could. I don't think I could even like. It's not. It's not like. Oh, I don't want to do for it for five minutes. I don't minutes think I, could even, it, I don't yeah. think I even could. Yeah, I could throw, am I allowed to throw up? No, like, probably not. The, I guess like no, you got to keep. If it you down. fail the assignment, and you probably oh, don't get the money. I don't think it's possible for me to pass that assignment. That would be too awful. Yeah. Well, ten minutes of torture. Life of living on the beach in Marbella, baby. Two hundred thousand. My yeah, time, baby. Honestly, you, you will, would, mate. You will burn through that money. No, so mate, quick. I wouldn't. Yeah. I, w- I know I wouldn't. Yeah. Based on what? <laughs> Past experiences. You never. Know, <laughs> <you, laughs> like that's where we come from. Ten years ago, I ate some shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned my lessons. But look at my new computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the final question. Another question I've seen going round: Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Ooh. Oh, wheels. Well, I was thinking about this, and there's so many doors in a house, in a building. It's not just one, is there? When you loads. say what's when what's the parameters of this wheel? Because like you can get like little ones that are in like. Oh well, yeah, Zoe mentioned that, like in in engineering and machinery. Yeah, stuff, there's clocks, little wheels in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that yeah. I guess they're wheels, aren't they? Or are they cogs? Well, uh, you can have cogs, but you can also have like your drawers. Desk of yeah. dr- Don't talk about my auntie, <laughs> sir. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> really smelly. <laughs> really stink. <laughs> we- really worried about my bowels. <laughs> but I-, I thought it was the decaf coffee. It's not. <laughs> to open a, a, a drawer, there's more wheels. Really big penis in my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'd say wheels. I'd say doors. I'd Fair say, enough. I'd say right? wheels. Because, uh, because think of this. Cubicle doors. <laughs> I've got, I've got no, video, know, yeah. and and you can see the cubicle doors, and they just open lockers. Their doors. Yeah. Advent calendars. Ah. Ready for Are they doors. not windows? Oh, yeah, good point. I got Stephen an advent calendar when he lived with us, and uh, well, St- this up. St- St- <laughs> Stephen undid the bottom of the box. It was up on the wall. <laughs> took the tray out. Yeah. Like all the chockies. Very, very early December. And I'd do it again. Yeah. I did do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually a three advent calendar kind of guy. Couldn't believe yeah. it. A day. Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> the doors, the band. There oh, you go, yeah. that's one. There's only three of them or four of them. Yeah. Though, There's no band called The Wheels. I'm no. sure there, there is. There is a TV yeah. show, though. Is there? Wheel mm-hmm. of Fortune. Oh, yeah, that's one big wheel. wheel. The, the wheel. wheel, of yeah. course. Yeah. Big yeah. wheels. Uh, keep on turning yes a lot of bikes yeah how is your mum (laughs) no no, no, no. No. been grinding her recently (laughs) she said about grinding your last one (laughs) skateboard wheels (laughs) do you know Ryan's forgot give me the fucking gear I should think it was on about a car (laughs) (laughs) yes 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 that's funny that he's uh, he's driving off in a car Mm. Um, oh I love that (laughs) the doors on the bus go there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, oh, it's cold. Um, thank you very much for watching the Stephen Trice podcast. <sighs> and listening for audio listeners. No, we don't thank them. No, no, no. Cheers, they, guys. they know what they've done. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting group. I've been joined by Cameron Green. Thanks all. Thank you. Max Smith. Cheers, guys. Thumbs up clapping for me for some reason. And Tom Cooney. Not loony this week. Very tame. What? Yeah, put it out there. That AA one was really good. And we made it good. Oh, no, I had a kind of, you know, a bit of zest about me, you know, this oh, week on the yeah. segment, no? That's what you get when you don't clap my name. Yeah, man. Tangerines have zest. <laughs> they do, to be fair. <laughs> they like wheels as well. The citrus trivia that I like to uh, end the show. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Stay humble. What? <laughs> <laughs> and ciao.